Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we have the official release of iOS 14.6 available to the public. So in today's video, we'll go over exactly what changes have been made in this new version of iOS and what new features have been brought to your iOS devices. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start off with the new features in iOS 14.6, and the first is the addition of Apple Podcast subscriptions. Now, as the name suggests, it's a subscription service for podcasts and channels, one of which provides ad-free listening, early access to content, and exclusive content from each creator that you actually subscribe to. Now, pricing and what exactly you'll get through these subscriptions is completely up to the creator themselves, so expect to see different pricing and benefits with different creators out there. Now, next up is Apple Card Family. This is a feature that Apple announced at their Spring Forward event and something I was actually very excited for. And basically it's a feature that allows two people to co-own an Apple credit card and have it equally impact their credit ratings. Now, it doesn't stop there though. A parent can actually share their card with their kids so that they can actually use it via Apple Pay and through that they can set limits on that card that the kids are using. Of course, all of this will be trackable and operated through iOS so it's quick, easy, and a seamless experience that won't cause too much hassle when doing that. Okay, the next new feature is Hi-Fi Audio for Apple Music. Now, this will allow you to access lossless audio at no additional charge to your existing Apple Music monthly subscription. So for you guys out there who like your high quality audio experiences and want to finally have that experience via Apple Music, Apple is definitely delivering here with this new lossless option. Now, one last thing to add is that if you own AirPods, even the AirPods Max headphones, this lossless audio cannot be played through those devices just yet. Obviously, this is an initial lack of a feature that could possibly change in the future, but as of right now, it's just not possible with those specific devices. Now, another change that we found is specific to Apple's newest device, the AirTag. So previously, when you set your AirTag to lost mode, you'd have to submit a phone number and a phone number only. Now in iOS 14.6, you can actually use an email address just in case you don't want to put your phone number out there for other people to see. Now past these new features, there were also some fixes that were made in iOS 14.6 as well. For those of you guys using call blocking extensions out there, they weren't actually showing up in the settings app with iOS 14.5 and iOS 14.5.1. That is actually now fixed here in iOS 14.6 and you shouldn't be having any other issues with call blocking apps specifically. Now another fix was a device throttling issue that was presented in iOS 14.5.1. Essentially there would be extended reduced performance upon startup with specific iPhones and several users have been complaining profusely that it lasts for quite some time. Now with iOS 14.6 that no longer happens and it appears that the bug has been fixed for good. So guys, for any of you experiencing those throttling issues, I know a lot of you guys have commented on previous videos, that issue is now fixed and that is definitely a reason to update here. Now past those changes or fixes, there have been several UI uh, bugs and little things that have been fixed within this update and Apple will likely release even more fixes in iOS 14.7 as we've already seen the initial beta of that next iOS release. Okay, so new features and bug fixes aren't the only two factors to an iOS release. We also have CPU, GPU, and battery performance to talk about as well. Now, as for the CPU and GPU, I'd say that Apple wasn't really focused on that performance with this specific update. The performance with those two components is very similar to what we saw in iOS 14.5, and that's to be expected given Apple will focus their efforts heavily in that area when it comes to iOS 15 betas, which we expect to be coming in the first week of June. Now, moving on to battery performance, and this has been hit or miss for me on different devices. I noticed that for newer devices, the battery life is very similar to what we saw in iOS 14.5, but for my iPhone 8 Plus specifically, I saw a bit of a decreased performance when using the release candidate version of iOS 14.6. Now, I'm actually not quite sure what's causing this, but we saw about a two to 4% loss in battery life just when updating. So I just wanted to put that out there I'm not sure exactly what is going on. It could be a bug that's fixable, but I just want to let you guys know that's what I'm experiencing when it comes to battery life. Okay guys, so that was the iOS 14.6 update. And of course the last part to any update video is that infamous question being answered, should you update your device? 
Well, my answer would definitely be yes. There are clearly added benefits to the new features that we saw here in iOS 14.6. And as for overall performance, everything seems to remain the same here uh, versus iOS 14.5. Now, Apple is already working on iOS 14.7, so if you don't want to be updating yet again in the next few weeks or so, uh, then maybe hold off. But if you feel like it's unsafe to update to iOS 14.6, you definitely shouldn't. This is absolutely a solid update, and I would highly recommend it. Okay, so that's it for today's video, but if you have any other comments about this update or any questions, please leave those in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to check out some of our other content and look out for future updates as we have iOS 15 and WWDC coming just around the corner in the next couple of weeks. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching Updated on YouTube. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some of our other things that we have going on, check the links down in the video description below. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week talking about everything going on in the world of tech. So again, thank you all for watching today's video and we hope to see you in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.